some people might accuse you of being so committed to atheism that you'd never be willing to countenance any evidence that might lend support to a creator behind the universe. So I'm just interested, what sort of evidence could science or the physical universe present to you that would make you think, actually, that that is evidence that there's a, a mind behind this? I find that um, a very difficult question. Um, uh, I, if I were looking in the Bible for evidence, heaven forbid, um, <laughs> I, I um, would expect to see maybe increase in entropy is equal to Q reversible divided by temperature. And that is if, the, if there was literally an equation an in the Bible, equation like in that. the Bible, rather than all this wishy washy, okay. um, elastic writing that it pervades. All right. So, so if if there was something like that that yeah. they discovered yeah. in the Bible, then that, I'd that, think then it was probably a forgery. That, yeah. Well, exactly. The, the problem is, <laughs> would it actually make you? <laughs> no. I mean, is there anything from you know? Is I there think, any kind of evidence in the universe that could make? I mean, if the stars lined up to spell. Peter, please believe in me. It's about no, time. I, 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 would, I would put, that it, I put it down to madness. You put it down so, to personal madness. Right. Yeah. Well, it sounds it, like Peter that there is no evidence that will persuade you away from atheism. Well, to be honest, I think that's probably the case. In that sense, wow. do you even have an evidence-based view if you're actually committed to atheism a priori? Well, I, I'm predicting that there will be no such evidence. That's not quite the same thing as being committed to it a priori. Um, I, I, I can't But you said there's no evidence that would persuade I, you otherwise. I, I think it's much more likely that I would have gone mad <laughs> than such evidence would have been provided. Right. So, so in principle, it's impossible to ever persuade you that God exists. I didn't quite say that, mm. but... Um, well, what would persuade I, you? I can't conceive of... Uh, I suppose even if I died and was confronted with you know, St. Peter saying, welcome to heaven, <laughs> um, I'd probably think I was dreaming. Would you, I, I, I well, might, that leads me on to my next question. If, do, if I were dead... Would you want I it might, to be true? I, I mean, do, do you want God to exist in any uh, shape uh, or form? Would you be pleasantly surprised if you woke up on the other side of death? And, and found a life of eternal bliss. Um, of course, there's a play by Bernard Shaw, isn't there? Man and, is it Man and Superman? Where, yes, but where maybe. Heaven is, heaven is found to be so boring <laughs> that they ask to go down to hell for a bit of fun. <laughs> for more conversations between Christians and skeptics, subscribe to the Unbelievable podcast. And for more updates and bonus content, sign up to the Unbelievable newsletter.